Hey Taurus, it's Lauren from the Untitled Tarot. Welcome back if you're returning. And if you're new here, which is mostly all of you, welcome. Have a seat, Taurus. I gotta talk to you. This is the strangest occurrence I've ever had with a reading. And I've done so many. Um, I pulled these cards. It is Thursday night when I am doing this video. If it goes through, it will go through. This video is going to complete itself successfully and it's going to upload successfully. I pulled these cards for you um, Tuesday night. Tuesday night I pulled these cards for you after I did the Pisces reading. And it was pretty clear cut. Um, there is someone coming in to, to rock your boat. And uh, right when I got maybe about two thirds in, the video shut off. Apparently I was out of, I was out of memory on my phone. Not a real thing that's happening. I, I deleted a bunch of stuff. I cleared, I cleared my cache, you know, still no good. Like, all right. All right. Just like weird. There's a lot of interference. There's a lot of interference going on Taurus. And I told myself this morning that I was going to film your video before I went to work. Lemony snicket. Some things happen. I wasn't able to do that. It's like, I'm going to come home and I'm going to film this when I get home from work. And I got home from work and I like got exhausted, just completely drained of literally every little bit of life, life force I had left in my body. I was like, what is going on? I don't understand. Like, this doesn't make sense. And normally if I try and record a reading and then something's not right or something's off, like my guys will tell me like kind of ditch the cards, you know, center yourself, try again later, right? They told me specifically to keep these cards on my board for like 36 almost 48 hours, probably yeah, 48 hours, these cards have been sitting on my board. I have not pulled a single tarot card since. These are laying here in the exact position I laid them out originally and I am not moving them. There is someone, there is something that does not want you to get this message and over my, over my body, dead or alive over my body, Taurus, because this is not right. This is not right. And so when I had meditated on your energy on Tuesday evening, a couple things I got were salt, Himalayan salt, Himalayan pink salt came through very strongly. There is an energy that you guys need to, to purify your energy. You need to um, cleanse your energy. Maybe you need to take a salt bath. Maybe you need to um, lay a little extra protection over yourself, over your house, over your family. There's dogs barking in the background. So it's further confirmation of the interference for me. Um, also, I got a lot about honeydews honeydews and I looked up the symbols behind honeydews because I did not know and they um represent the the pregnant belly of the goddess um they represent fertility and they represent abundance and as I had said that in the last filming of this um a spider crawled across my phone again further confirmation that yes abundance is coming in for you yes abundance there's a big ass spread there's abundance coming in for you Taurus and if it's not here already if it hasn't come in yet you you already have it and so First off, I'm just going to say this. I very rarely say things like this with such confidence, but wh whichever Taurians I'm connecting with right now, there is someone with Virgo and Cancerian placements. It's not just one, it's both. It's a Virgo with Cancerian placements or it's a Cancer with Virgo placements. They're coming in for you, Taurus. The first card that you had out was the Page of Rods. The Page of Rods. And this had come out, I think maybe in in the Leo video. And what I had noticed in the Leo video is that he kind of had his pinky out. And, and in that reading, it was very much of um, being a little bit on your P's and Q's, like being a little bit on like your best behavior, like pinkies out y'all, you know, like make it look nice. This is coming off different actually, because in his hands, not only does he have this scroll, which is sticking out to me. So this could be a message. This could be an email. This could be a phone call. This could be a text message. So some point of contact for you. Um, but if you look at his hands here, they're a little bit like mm, rock on. And then right here, especially it's a little bit like, like cow bongo. Like it's a little bit like cool guy. Like it's a little bit like player energy. Like there's something like someone's really trying to, um, come in and, and reignite something. I mean, it's, it's retrograde season. So like such, so it goes right. Um, and I'm, I actually, I feel Whatever this is, is going to annoy the piss out of you because I am so annoyed. Like I had the bestest day like ever. I've had like the bestest three days. But like the second I was like, no, I'm going to do this reading come hell or high water. Like I got very annoyed. Whatever this is, is going to really annoy you 
because somebody's going to try and roll through somebody with Virgo and cancer placements. I'm telling you. And they're going to come in like real cool guy, cool girl, like easy peasy, like super casual, like, oh, like, let's, 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 let's bury the hatch, you know, like, let's, um, let's clear the air, like, let's make up, like, let's talk, like, let's just talk, like, it's cool, like, it's cool. And there was a big sense when I recorded this the other day that there is, um, like a big tumble, okay, there was like a roll through energy. It's like whenever this person rolls through, whenever this person rolls through, it's like an in and out energy, in and out energy. It's like not the first time on this, feels like a karmic cycle, to be honest with you, um, that there have been a lot of go arounds of this karmic cycle in the past. Yeah, my nose is gonna, my nose is itchy. Um, but it seems as though you have ended the cycle, Taurus, for yourself, um, emotionally, energetically, whatever it may be. But this person, like, didn't get the memo. I don't know if there's a lack of communication, but this person, like, did not. Maybe when they, they rolled back out, you know, um, through town, I'm hearing. Rolled back out through town. Um, that they, they didn't realize that the karmic cycle was over. They didn't realize that, like, you weren't really playing games anymore. Right? So maybe that's what I'll name this. It's like, you're not playing games. And the next card you have out is the Four of Pentacles. And for me, this stuck out. I was like, these look like honeydews to me like these look like big ass melons and and uh, there was a big aspect there was a big fertility aspect when I read the other day I'm not picking up so much of the fertility aspect but some of you may actually be pregnant or it might be like on the board for you so something you might be mindful of but it's the sense of Taurus that it's like after the last time this person kind of rolled out of town you were kind of done you were really spent and you kind of got to work on yourself, on your life, building yourself up, on your family, like whatever it may be for you. And now it's like you have these little tokens of abundance. You have these little, like these little ships that have come in for you, right? It's like you're new, you're new, your new seeds, your new ideas, your new plans, your new projects, your new people, your new relationship, like a pregnancy, like whatever it is for you. And it's like you're holding on to it for dear life. You know, it's like he's over here like, oh, super cool, man. And you're like, I don't even want to look at you. It's almost like, don't look at me. Like, as I'm here, it's like, don't even look at me. Don't even look in my direction. It's like, and you're like guarding. You're very seriously guarding, which is why there might need to be a, a cleansing energy, like a, like a purge. It, it doesn't feel like a purging. It feels like a protection, not purging. You don't need to purge. You need to protect your energy. And it feels almost a sense of it's like, almost like you have to protect your assets. Like you're afraid or like, you know, it's not even like you're afraid. It's like, you know, this person's going to come in and try and stir the pot. Like, you know, this person's going to come in and try and like, bust your bust bust your bubble burst your bubble like they're gonna try and somehow like soil these little honeydews for you and you're not having it because next out you have the tower card followed by the page of cauldrons the page of cups in reverse and i love this tower card because it's very indicative of me of a of a karma but in the sense of like also self-sabotage and like not learning lessons because this tower card the, just the way it's designed with the bricks it looks like books to me you know, it looks like all your life lessons, all of your experiences, like all the times that like you knew better, all the times you should have done better. Like, and, and we need that, right? Like sometimes you have to make mistakes. Like you, you don't know where to grow unless you're uncomfortable where you're at. And so that's fine. But it's like, despite all of this, it's like you've learned what lessons to keep, what things to let go of. And this person hasn't like they didn't they didn't realize that it's like not recess anymore, that you're like not even in the playground, that you you graduated and you're like out the whole damn school. Taurus and you're like looking you're holding you're holding off your little pentacles you're holding on to your honeydews you're holding on to, to this new cycle for yourself right and it's like I'm very drawn to like the stars inside like these new stars it's like you have new dreams now you have new hopes and dreams and aspirations and and new loves and all of this new right and maybe it's not actually like new things but it's just like a new approach a new attitude a new perspective you know a change in attitude can change your life and it seems like you really did that Taurus. and here you are looking at at the tower it actually goes like this on my board and you're like get away from me you were like i've been there and i've done that and i'm not going back i'm not playing these games with you like i'm here i'm not playing these games with you like get away from me this is what you keep hearing it's like get away from me and then it's like with this page of cups in reverse and you're like I'm not giving any, I'm not giving you any emotion. I'm not giving any energy to this situation. Like you can roll through if you want, but it's like, I have nothing to say. I have absolutely nothing to say to you. It's just like, stay away from me. And I'm here like, stay away from my family. Like stay away from my stuff. It's like, um, it's like you, you, uh, it's, it's, there's like a fixing, there's like a fixing energy here. It's like, don't, don't mess up the things that I've worked for. Like I have everything like real nice. I have everything like just the way I want it. 
I have everything just the way I like it and I want it. Like, don't come over here and, like, dirty it up with your bullshit. And then you have the two of cal cauldrons, so the two of cups. And then you have the five of cauldrons in reverse. And then you have out the page of pentacles. And this, for me, is, like, withholding offers. It's, like, this person, like, withheld things from you, whether that was information, whether that was time, whether that was energy, that was love. You know what I mean? Because he's, like, not even looking in the same direction, right? He's always looking forward. He's looking forward. He's in the same direction of the page of wands. Like, always looking forward, always looking forward, never, like, looking at what they had in front of them, this person, right? Very withholding. But now you are in a position, Taurus, of withholding. Because through these tower moments, you saw that this was not the two of cups for you. This was not the two of cups for you. And I'm going to tell you why. Come closer. I'm going to tell you why. Look at this couple. He, again, is not looking at her. He's not even looking at her. And she's looking away. She's actually holding up her dress a little bit as if she's trying to flee. Like, I remember getting, um, like, miscongeniality. And the guy's trying to, like, train her. And he's like, why are you walking like that? And she was like, I'm preparing to run away. And this was you. It was, like, almost in this moment that you had with this person throughout all of these cycles of trying to have this soulmate energy, right? Just because there is soulmate energy doesn't mean it's, it's being expressed in a healthy way. It doesn't mean that person isn't your soulmate. It just means that, like, it doesn't matter if somebody is your soulmate, if, like, they don't treat you well or if your energies when combined are, are an unhealthy combination, right? Because here's these two cups, right? And you can see both of her hands, right? So this is your feminine side. So this is in ways in which you, you see it. It's like you're not hiding anything. You have both your hands, right? One of them is, like, almost, like, instinctually intuitively kind of knowing like oh I don't really think that this is right like something's wrong here like maybe I should get ready to kind of like look for an emergency exit just in case you know but with this white veil it tells me that you are very well intentioned meanwhile this person over here one you can only see one of his hands where is his other hand Taurus is it in your purse is it sliding up the back of your dress is wh where is his other hand it's like a trick up their sleeve they always have a trick up their sleeve and what's coming out of your cup it's like you're you were trying to pour it into this person and all these droplets it's like they were just letting it pour out and they actually look like little teardrops not for nothing so it's like you knew like they weren't even looking at you and you had no choice despite that you were sad about it you were very well intended but you had to kind of look away <coughs> you had to look away because you saw, you knew that they were just letting your cup, letting all of your emotion, all of your effort just kind of pour out. And on top of the fact is that you couldn't even see their, both of their hands anyway. They always had a trick up their sleeves, right? And you don't want to feel like you're, like you're in spilt milk anymore. You were like, you don't want to feel like it's all for nothing. Like it's all for nothing. And whenever you put love into something, even if it doesn't turn out the way we want it to, there, there's growth and there's lessons and, and there's things in that. So it never is a waste. Nothing, vulture spirit, nothing is ever wasted, right? But it's this sense that it's like, you know this now and you're like, I'm almost seeing him like, throw the cups away. Just throw them all away. Throw the whole man away. Throw the whole girl away. Like throw the whole situation away. Like the baby and the bath water. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I'm not doing it. You're like, I'm not doing it anymore. And now this is a period of you withholding, right? Your honeydews. Your new luck, your new opportunities, your new job, your your new life, your new family, whatever this is for you. You're like, get away from me. You can't have it. It's mine and you can't have it. And with this Knight of Rods coming out, it's putting this person on the defensive, right? It's like they're, they're going to try and come in, Taurus, like pretty cool, pretty casual, like no big deal. Like, you know, I'm just, just checking in, just catching up. Like I just, you know, I have a little message for you. Like maybe I have a little gift for you. I got a souvenir. Like, I don't know, you know, there's something like can we bury the hatch. Like, and you're going to come off very defensive. You're gonna be like, oh no, no, I've been there. I've done that with you. We're not going back down this road. These are my things and you can't touch my things. I'm sorry. And what's it going to do? It's going to piss them off. They're going to come in as a page, like very innocent, very casual, like cool guy like super cool guy you know and when you realize when they realize that you're going to withhold very much in the same way that they did um but from a very different place i'm gathering they were withholding a lot from from insecurity from ego yours is like i'm hearing like just like resolve like enough is enough i'm hearing and it, they're gonna get mad it's this is them kind of like amplifying the message like puffing their chest out it's like oh really i'm hearing like is that so 
is that so? Is that really how you feel? And with the Queen of Cauldrons, the Queen of Cups, you're like, yeah, that's exactly how I feel. Actually, I have my crown and you're like, and I have my cup and it's clean. It's nice and clean and it's full of love that isn't being spilled out everywhere, right? Wasted time, wasted effort. You were like, I have fruits and I have all this blue. I have all of my truth. It's like, absolutely not. You have these, these three points right here. Three is the number of divinity. And you're like, yeah, I've been there. I've done that. You're like, I'm not, I know nobody, I know you didn't realize that the party was over. Virgo, cancer, mix, but I'm done here. You can be mad. You can puff your chest out. Like you could do that all you want, but I'm hearing like, I will not be moved. I will not be moved. Like you can't come in. Like you're not welcome here is what I'm hearing. Because with the illusions card, this is the moon card in reverse, you know the truth about this person. And might I point out that is a crying woman. You know that dealing with this person, despite whatever affection or love or, or loyalty that you had for them, right? That it really only brought you heartbreak because it takes two to tango. It takes two to make a thing go right, you know? It wasn't, and it's like with the four of swords, it's like you're coming, it's like, it's not that you're coming to the realization of this, because I feel like you already realized this a long time ago, but it feels like there's a lot of distance or, or lack of communication between you. There's like a separation period between you and this person. Um, and it almost, it's like, you're, you're letting them know the truth. It's like, why don't you see this? Like, why don't you see that this is a bad egg? Like, why don't you see it's almost like accountability. Like, why can't you take accountability for yourself? Like, you know that you do this. It's almost like, you know that you come in here and you do this. You know that, like, blah, 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 blah. And now, you know it always turns out to be garbage. It's almost like you're full of shit. You know you're full of shit. And you're letting this person know. And it's not, and it, as I put those cards down, the two of cups, like, flew. It was like, mm-hmm. It's like, you're getting away. You're absolutely getting away. Because you have the world card out in reverse. It's like a un unrealized un unactualized potential right because it seems like there there could have been a thing here there could have been progression in this job there could have been you know but maybe this is your boss right maybe this is your boss and he, you you've moved on you you i'm getting like quarantine like you you were off for the quarantine and now they're trying to get you to come back to work and you're like ah they're trying to give you like some cushy deal and you're like ah you know actually I know that you never really wanted to promote me anyway I know you never really wanted me to advance like I know that you were never really committed to this like I know that you know that you knew that it was never really going anywhere and like I was just the last to know that's kind of like that's the energy that I'm getting because with the six of cups the six of cauldrons it's like this is not like home this is not home for you and maybe it was for a period of time but I'm getting like we changed the locks we changed the locks, we moved out of town. We moved out of town. Because it only just brought you the three of swords. It only just brought you disappointment and it only brought you heartache. And it's like, you've, you've been there and you've done it and you know better now, but this person's still stuck in this cycle. You know, we talk about the collective a lot and how the collective's really split off into, into two different frequencies, right? And, and there have been a, I've noticed that there has been a lot of, with the retrograde, um, we talk about twin flames, we talk about soulmates, we can talk about, about really unions in general, couples, relationships, friendships, family members, um, really kind of separating into two different collectives and, and unable to kind of meet in the middle to find that kind of cooperation and collaboration because it's like the the disparity is too far now like you've ascended too high and and they're still so low that there's no like middle ground there there's no middle ground to me and you know that but they don't realize it yet because you can't right you can't because it's like when you're when you're in a frequency that's so low especially when you don't realize it it's like the only place you have to look is up right but it's like when you're rising so high it's like you can look you can keep looking up and you could look side to side for everybody else that's like riding on the same wavelength as you, but you know better than to look down. You know better than to look down. And, and it came up in the, in the other video that there's a movie called Molly's Game. It's a really good movie. It's an okay movie. I enjoy it. Um, I don't want to say it's really good, but I enjoy it. And um, there's a scene in it where, where Molly, as a young girl, she's um, going to ski down a very big slope. And her dad, you know, he's shouting out to her. He goes, look ahead look forward. If you look down, that's where you'll go. 
If you look down, that is where you'll go. Look forward. And I think you realize that. And you're like, that's why it's like, I don't even want to look at it. Like, don't look at me. Like, don't even come over here. It's almost like playing dead. Like, if I just play dead, like, will they just not notice me? Will they just, like, tumbleweed through town? You know what I mean? And you have the Eight of Rods, which is the Eight of Wands in reverse. And this is you, Taurus, saying, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk about it. It's like, I have nothing to say to you. King of Rods in reverse. You're like, I have absolutely no plans of, of working with you, of working this out, of, of collaborating. Ace of Cups in reverse. This is like you. You're like, this is not going to be a new kickstart. This is not a kickstarter I'm hearing. Like, this is not a jumpstart. Like, this is not... This is not going to be emotionally fulfilling. Like, it's just going to be, I'm seeing like a drain. It's just going to be a drain on my time. It's just going to be a drain on my energy. It's just going to be a drain on my, on my resources. With this King of Pentacles in reverse, it's like, um, I know you, I know you don't have anything real to offer me. Like, I know you don't have anything real to offer me. You're like, because I already have my 10 of Pentacles, right? Like I have situations, I have abundance, I have flow, I have people, places, and things that I love to to be with to participate in you know what I mean and they love that I'm there to participate in it as well there's a there's a reciprocity there there's a cause and effect that I can actually see and touch and hold in my day-to-day -day life and not just spiritually or energetically or or in my heart space right you were like I know how to build this now I know how to build like a healthy cycle right I know where the healthy cycle is and it starts with me it starts with me which is why up here, it's like you're guarding these, I'm getting like tenants. It could be like tenants of your belief, of your character. It's like this nine of swords. And you were like, I'm not going to stress myself out about you. Like I've already done it. I've already like tied myself up, tore myself up. I've already done it. And I'm not going to do it because I know 10 of cauldron, cauldrons, 10 of cups in reverse, that this is not, again, this is not a happy home. This is not a happy home. I'm getting like, um, we're all good here. That's what I keep hearing. It's like, we're, no, 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 we're good over here. Like, I'm good over here. Like, I got it and I'm good. Like, we are, like, there's also like a lot of family energy. Like, I'm feeling a lot of kid energy. It's like, no, 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 we're good over here. Like, we don't need your help. Like, we don't need you to come back in here. Like, what are you going to come in here and save the day? Like, we're good. Like, stay where you are. Stay where you are because I'm not a fool. You were like, it's almost like, don't get ahead of yourself and think, like, because you might, maybe you'll, Maybe, you know, this is, uh, uh, you know, the, the co-parent to your child. And so you're like, all right, for, for the sake of it, like, I'll talk to you because maybe I have to, like, whatever. But, like, don't, don't get ahead of yourself. Don't think that this is going to be the start of something because I know that it's not. I know that this is not, I'm not getting anywhere with you. And you're most certainly not getting anywhere with me. And there is a little, maybe a, a sense that maybe you feel a little bit foolish for, for all, all the times because I'm, I'm hearing like times, like multiple go arounds, go arounds. I guess that's why it's like whenever this person comes back around, comes back around and you, you took yourself off that karmic loop and you popped yourself back up. They don't realize it yet. And you feel a little bit foolish, right? But it's also like I'm seeing with this woman, which didn't come out the other day. She's a little bit like, oh my God. It's like, I was like, oh, are we really doing this again? Like, are you really doing this again? And so it's like, I can't believe you. Like, I can't believe you. It's like, didn't you tire yourself out by now? It's kind of the energy I'm getting. And then you have the Empress out in reverse. You're like, because there was no fertility here. Like this situation, this job, this relationship, like it wasn't going anywhere. They were never going to promote you. They were never going to support you. They were never going to give you that, that reciprocal love back and forth that you really like require, that all people require, right? It's like even nature, like you plant a seed, but I'm hearing like an acorn, an acorn, an apple doesn't fall far from the tree. So that might be something for you. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree, but it's like an acorn. It falls from the tree. It plants itself, but then it also needs the help of the earth in order to allow roots to form. It needs the help from the sky in order to let rain fall down and, and water it and nourish it. And it needs the help from the sun in order for it to grow and do that photosynthesis. Like even nature works in cooperation. I'm like so angry i'm so you this is really gonna annoy you guys i had like a delightful day i really been having a cup of tea it's like hooray like but it's like even nature it's almost like it's so simple to you it's like common sense it's like a common sense thing it's like even nature works in cooperation with itself it's like you you can't you can't play you can't play ball even god meets me halfway you can't play ball it's like no i'm not doing we're good over here 
we're absolutely good over here there's no fertility here like i have fertility it's like i know how to plant it's like i have my baby it's like i have my job i have my new project i have my new friends it's like i have my new life i have my new me i have my new me now with this four of cauldrons in reverse and you were like i'm not crying about it anymore it's like i'm not calling i'm not crying i'm not making plans like i'm not pouring into you you were like this is a bad seed this is some monsanto freaky gmo plant and i'm not putting it in my mouth i'm not doing it because i want an equal give and take and i know how to do that now and it's almost like a little bit of um i don't want to say smugness because i actually don't feel like you guys are in a smug energy but it's a little bit of like it's so easy 